hello guys welcome back to appshift tutorial so today we're going to see about date and time expressions so in this uh, we are going to see particularly about the month function how we can use this and uh, how we can use uh, with our own customization format like uh, so basically month expression will give the number like uh, for example if it's a jan month means it will give the number one if it's a february means it will give two three and so forth so on till the month december 12 so we can customize uh, this month with uh, using the list uh, by giving the january february as a text values so let's see the live demo so in this i'm going to create a new data table called uh, just actually we have already a table for the date and time expressions so we'll continue with that so in this we have date and time expression table so we'll continue with that UX date and time. Okay. So it's in menu view. I'm bringing this to center and we'll go to this definition. Yeah. So this is the definition. So actually, weekday names I have already given in the previous video. So now we can do it. So in this we change the formula Oops. the month the month function today and yeah first we'll check the number value so it will give a number data type we will change this to number and we'll save here So I'm creating a new form. So the month value show us seven. So yeah, so currently the month is July, which is the seventh of the year. So we can customize this using our own list values. So what we can do is like we can first create the list of values. Jam. So we have created the list of uh, month values from Jan to December, and uh, we're going to use the index function. So the index of this list will be the month of today. So which means, so month of today will give the number value which is from 1 to 12 based on this today's date so currently the month of today will give us 7 so using the index function 7th of this list will give us output so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is july using the index of 7 is the july so it will come we'll test this and this is the it's not a number data type the output will come as a text value from the list the text value we are showing and we'll save so see the value july came here right? so same like this we can do for 
we can check for other months also for that we can do dynamic selection of the date function so this is the date right so what we can do is we just copy this column value and instead of today i'm going to enter the date function follow the selection okay so let's show this out So I'm selecting the date, today's value, so the July came, and in the last month, I'm selecting the so June, right? So it will come as June, I will select some of the months, Jan, Jan. So this is the, one of the best use case of month expression, and we can concatenate it with the year or some other thing. So whatever the data type you want, like Jan, maybe today's date, dash Jan, dash year, current year. Okay. So thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, just leave a comment below. Thank you guys.